Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for April 9th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, um, I don't see any repeats on this top band, but there are opportunities for crossings. I don't know if there are any, but for example, this 2-9 looking in, we're looking for a 2-9 down here. This 9 doesn't count because it's in line with the 4-6. Um, just double checking on this. So this 1-6 isn't the best kind of crossing, but if we did find an 8 or a 3 in this column only, that would be helpful. We do have an 8 here, but you can see that the consequence is still three places for eight in this box, so that's not as good. We do have this 2-9 and this 2-9, but unfortunately there's not a digit there. It would be amazing if there was, but we, we should consider the fact that 2 and 9 are squeezing into these three cells only, um, and that could come in handy later. Um, we also have this one and this one, which would be amazing if there were... So if I fill a digit here, I, I definitely need to come back and look at the consequences. Um, here, uh, we have this 2-9 here, Yep, so I finally found one. We have this six looking in, this six looking in. That does place six in this box right here. And now we have this sort of tunnel. <laughs> uh, if there was anything over here going through the tunnel, that would be extremely good, but we don't have any givens over here other than the six, which is already in the box. We should follow up on that six though, and say that six is one of these three. Okay, uh, I'm not sure we're gonna find anything else up here at the moment, but there is a lot of opportunity in this box later if we do fill this cell. Um, let's look at this band here. We do have two nines looking in, and this nine looks down, so that puts a nine in one of these two cells only. Um, three and five, the seven. Okay, so let's look for more crossings. We got this two, not helpful, three and eight. Uh, the three is unfortunately in line with the one nine. Um, yeah, I'm not... I guess, I guess I'm seeing these two sixes. That's not a crossing, it's just a vertical scan, but I am seeing it, so I can mark six there. Um, yeah, surprisingly little to do here. I'm thinking about if there's any kind of geometry going on here. I didn't check up here actually earlier, two, three, nine. It just doesn't seem like there's a lot of opportunity for it. Oh, there is one. Oh, no, there's not. I was going to say this one, four, six would have to go here, but unfortunately there's already a four which we can mark here, but we need one and six. Let's take a look at that at least. We need one and six in these three cells, right? Because one and six are not placed in this column yet, and they can't go up here because they're already in the box. And then we have a lot of givens already in this column. So one and six end up somewhere in these three cells. I see this one here, but unfortunately there's not a one and a six taken out. So we can't do anything with that at the moment. Uh, similarly, we can't do anything about the five and seven looking up going in here somewhere. There's not a there's not a restriction on five seven, uh, so it's still three cell, three open places for it. But we'll keep an eye on all those things. It feels like we were going out of order in this puzzle almost, uh, which is possible. I just always go bands and then stacks uh, to make sure I don't miss anything. But it does mean that I do have to keep certain things in my head that I might be missing. I'm, I'm just marking these fours that repeat, these fives that repeat. We have the sevens that repeat. Uh, maybe this bottom band has some good stuff. Um, yeah, so let's look for crossings on this seven, eight. So we've got all of these, all of these digits except four, three, six, and nine, all looking down. And if we have any of three, six, nine over here that match up, that's helpful. So we do have the three and the six. So the three and the six look in here, the three and the six look down here. So that makes a hidden 3-6 pair in the box, because this also isn't 3-6. And I found that by focusing on this 7-8 here that are next to each other, and looking for things looking into the box that, that grab all three of these cells across the 7-8. That's why I call them crossings, right? So 3 and 6 look down here, 3 and 6 look in here. This, this is the only two, these are the only two cells that 3-6 can go in, so that's a hidden 3-6 pair. We can fill that there. Um, the most direct consequence of a hidden pair is that it removed anything else that may have been in those cells. Um, so I'm immediately going back and looking at the one here, because I remembered that this one was looking here. We had the one six that we needed to squeeze in here. The six still could go in any of them, but look at the one. The one that can't go here, this one sees here, and this hidden three six pair removed one as an option from that cell. So there's only one place for one in this column, which is here. And let, let me just be clear, if one ended up here, where are we putting the three? 
Well, this three looks in, this three looks in, the three goes there. Okay, that seems okay. Where are we putting the six now? There's nowhere to put the six in the box. The box can't get a six. It needs exactly one six. It needs one of each digit. So that broke the puzzle. And go, okay, well, just don't put the three there. Put the six there instead. Well, okay, now the threes look in. There's nowhere to put three in the box, right? Just by p simple math, right? We, we need two cells for three and six, and these are the only two cells. So those are the two cells. So this can't be one. So we can place the one here in this column. Um, those ones look down, putting one somewhere over here. Um, is there anything else I can do with this? So let's think about what else was removed from 336, and really it's about these four digits. So these four digits are 1, 2, 5, and 9. So this 9 looks down, right? This 9 here looks down, and these can't be 9 anymore because they hit in 3-6 pair. So that actually places the 9 here. Now if you look, we had a corner marked 5 there. Now there's only one corner marked 5 left because of these two 5s looking in, right? So we can immediately just place that 5. And now we are left with a 1-2 uh, pair right here. Very nice. Um, when I said we might be able to get stuff out of this band, I, I wasn't kidding, apparently. Uh, so this 1-2 pair means that this is going to be a pair as well, because the 1 and 2 are down here. So we need a um, 7 and 8. Which it doesn't look resolved, so we'll just write 7 8 in. I'm really interested in this stack now because of all, all this going on, so let's just pay a little bit more attention to this stack. Um, we still need a 6 in one of these two, unfortunately. It's not resolved. We got the ones. Um, so one, six, and four. Got the fours marked. One, five, three, nine. So the the three and the five are probably the most interesting to me because they don't go here, right? So fives, the two fives look up. Fives in one of these two. The three can go here or here, which is something to keep in mind. I don't have a marking for two places in a row or column. Never come up with a good way to do that without super cluttering the grid. Um, I think if um, if you were on paper, you could come up with a notation system for it, but it, within Sudoku pad, it's difficult. Um, I got those nines. I'm, I'm looking to see if there's anything else to do here. One, five, three, nine. We do have these two nines looking up and this nine looks in. So nine's one of these two cells. Um, all right, I think that might be all we're getting right now, but I, I haven't finished this band, so this band might still be useful. So for example, um, we've got three digits left in this row. If it's three or fewer, um, I always just mark it up, but I like to think about it first. One, two, and eight. I just have more fun if I can find something without marking it first. So one, two, eight, I'm seeing this one, I'm seeing this two, but I'm not really seeing anything special about it. So I'm just gonna mark one, two, eight and clear those out. Yeah, there wasn't really anything else to find. Um, it does mean one is in one of these two cells. Um, so the important bit is that these are not one anymore. Because if the, for this row, the one is up here in one of these two cells. The row needs a one. It's going to be in one of these two cells. Both of those happen to be in box nine. Box nine only gets a single one. So these can't be an additional one. It eliminates one from these cells called claiming because the row claims the one from the box okay uh we do have this three six pair that i didn't really think about too much um it does mean these aren't six so six ends up down here somewhere and it also means these aren't three so three ends up exactly here right so actually we can even just look at this row see that three is not here three is not in these three and three is not here so three is placed in the row it's the only place in the row that can be a three that's called a hidden single because even if I were to mark this cell up, the three would be hiding the fact that it was the that it, it had to be three, right? Um, the only way to see that it could, had to be three was by looking at where three could go in the row. You couldn't just look at this single cell and make that determination. That's why it's called hidden. So we have these threes looking in. This three looks in. So three's in one of these two. Um, I'm noticing that, yeah, we have this seven, actually. Um, I'm trying to see... If there's anything else of note, we got these sixes. We got the threes. I'm noticing three, six, and nine are not here, which could be helpful. Um, let's let's make sure I got everything in this bottom band before I move on, though. 
the eight maybe? Mm, yeah, okay. So these eights all these eights look in. It does put eight in one of these two. That's that's worth worthy of marking at least. Um three, seven, five. We got the three and the five here. Seven. We already have a seven here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure there's anything else to find here right now. So I'm gonna do verticals. I think I already did this vertical. I paid a lot of attention to it. Let's do this vertical, which I haven't really um, given any time to. Um, nothing matches the eight, so it really would really just be matches between these two. But one two nine does not match three seven five, so nothing matches. Um, kind of at a loss of what we could even do in this uh, in this stack here. We still haven't filled this cell. <laughs> If I filled this cell, we get a lot out of this box, but otherwise I don't really see how to get stuff out of this box. Um, I'm worried there's some kind of hidden triple that I'm missing, like around this corner here. We have the 1-5 looking in. We have this one. Look, so one, 1 is... The reason I say that is 1 is limited to these 3. We have these two nines looking in. That Maybe, maybe there's one other digit that's limited to these 3? Like the 7? No. Hmm. Okay, well, well, again, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. I don't know if there's anything to find. I think I, I looked at this. Oh, we do have this 5 looking up here. That's actually really helpful. I missed that uh, when I filled these out. That's really unfortunate, because that would have given us some progress. So this 5 looks all the way up here, saying these can't be 5, and obviously these aren't 5. And so 5 ends up in one of these two cells. And that does what's called pointing, because within this... It's kind of like when I described the claiming here, but it's opposite. The box... Where the five goes in the box points at the rest of the row. So within this box, five is limited to these two cells. They both happen to be in row two. So that will be the five for row two, which means this cannot be the five for row two. So that is not a five. Same with the rest of this row. So that places the five here. These, these fives also look in. This five looks up. Putting a five up here somewhere, one of these two cells. Um... Can I follow up this five any further? Is there something about this column or this row? Let's look at the row, because the row is down to four digits. Whenever a row column box is down to four or fewer digits, I think it's always worth at least thinking about what those digits are and what the consequence of that is. So we need a one, two, seven, and nine. I mean, this cell's not two or nine, so this is already down to one, seven. This can't be one, seven, so this is down to two, nine. This can't be two, nine, so this is, yeah, so. Oh, interesting. This can't be 2, 9, or 7. So this is just a naked single 1. Just to confirm, it could be a 1, but it can't be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So this is just a naked single 1. That gives us the 7 here, which couldn't have been 2 or 9. That looks down, giving us this 7. Okay, and then this is 2 or 9. We're left with a 2, 9 pair in the row. Nice. See, that's what I mean by it. it's always... <laughs> It doesn't always work out that quite that nicely, but it's always worth giving it a gander. You know what I mean? Um, so ones are looking in here, putting a one somewhere along here. Hmm. What else is happening? Uh, so how about more with this band? This is interesting. That yeah, one we know this one's down to two nine because we had these two nines looking in. We were trying to find a hidden pair of two nines. So we know that the other two nine ends up in one of these two cells, and it's going to be this one. Yeah, and the two nines over here. Yeah, it's, it doesn't really give any insights, but it, it's it's always fun to sort of see relationships like that. Whatever this two nine ends up being will be in one of these two cells, that's all I'm saying. It doesn't, doesn't do anything, but it's fun. This cell here is down to two digits. I can do that by I just at a glance, because we have five digits here, plus another two corner marked. That's seven. So there's only two digits left that could go here. So we might as well pencil it. Um, and it's going to be the four and the eight. Okay. I feel like this column might be limited. Because we, we already know that the, the six needs to go in one of these two. These aren't six, right? Okay, I'm, I, I, am get, I am noticing the 7 look up, putting a 7 in one of these two. Let's mark that. Um, unfortunately, 7 is one of these three. Let's think about what this column needs. It needs a 2, 3, 6, 8, 9. 2, 3, 6, 8, 9. Well, this can't be 2 or 9. So 3, 6. Oh, it's not 6 either. So 3 and 8 is all that can be here. 
Let's just double check. It sees one, two, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> one, two. Oh, no, we don't need the one. We need two, three, six, eight, nine. Two, three, six, eight, nine. This one's not six. This one's not three or nine. So two, six, eight. Hmm. I guess there's not too much fruitful here. We did get this 3-8, but I don't know what to do with it at the moment. Okay, um, so where else should we look? I think I, let me just double check this vertical. I got this seven recently. These are from one, five, four, eight. So I guess th this one's not a five, right? So this is from one, four, eight. Uh, what about the rest of this box? It has four open cells. So we need one, two, uh, one, two, eight, nine. So the nine's in one of these two cells because of this nine looking in. So one, two, eight, nine. This can't be two, so this is or eight. So this is down to one, nine only. Interesting. One, two, eight, nine, this can be any of them. There's four digits left in this row. They're gonna be the one, two, eight, nine because this could have been any of them because we have this three, six pair. This can't be one, two, or nine. So this is a naked single eight. Very nice, that's a two. We're left with a one, eight pair here, making this having to be the nine and the two. Um, this two also looks up, giving us this nine and two. So I think we're not going to be able to utilize too much here. We do have these twos looking in, so I might as well mark them. But uh, this can't be nine anymore because of that nine. So that leaves only this cell for nine in the box, which then only leaves this cell for three in the box. This is not a two, so it puts a two there. Down here, we have this two looking over. So that's one, that's two. This is a single for the row. Um, it's going to be a nine. These are four, six, and something else. One, four, six. And the ones look down, right? So this is the only place for one. Um, these are, what are these? Three, seven, eight, nine. The nine can only go here. Yeah, we have these nines looking in. So that's the nine. In fact, the quarter mark was telling us that. This is three, seven, eight. So once you get too many things to properly follow up, this eight looks up. So eight's in one of these two cells. That's going to point right, making this a four, because it can't be eight anymore. Because the eight's here in the row. So it can't also be here. So that's a four. This is not a one, so this is the eight and this is the one. We are left with a five and something. Um, five and eight, okay. This, uh, this eight looked left, giving us six and three and six and eight. Re this box is resolved. There's a triple left for this box. We need a two, four, and seven. Cleans up a little bit. I feel like we're, we're just wrapping up at this point. This is a triple. It's going to be the five, six, and something, the three. Okay, and this is a pair. Um, we need a four and a seven. This seven tells us the order. That's four, that's seven. Okay, we have a triple. Oh, we can finish these. This is six and four, and four because of the four we just placed. This is three or five. It's not a three, so that's five, that's three, that's six, five. Um, oof, sorry. Try not to tweak my back here. Um, let's see, we've got a two, four, and five here. This can't be two, five. So that's four, two, and five. We get the eight and the five. This is not a two. We get our one and our eight. We need a two here, and, we, uh, and that goes there because of this two. And we need a something. Uh, four, it looks like. All right, gives us the seven and the four. Here we need a one and a six. This one tells us the order. In this box, we need three, six, seven, eight. I'm just using my keypad here, which it goes... I have the option on that turns it dim. Let's see, what's that option called? Um, mark solved digits on. So all of the one, two, four, and nine are all completely done. So those are those have been dimmed on my keypad. And so three, six, seven, eight is what's left. So final box, I can always go a little bit faster unless I sit here and explain. So we need the three, we need the six, we need the seven, we need the eight. There we go. Nice. Ooh, 42 people already solved. Yeah, I'm doing this a little bit later than I usually do. Um, cool. Well, uh, can we recap? <laughs> this ended up a two, so it was never filled with something that would help my, my hidden two night pair. Really unfortunate. Um, I was really hoping to get that at some point, but it doesn't matter. Um, that ended up being just an annoyance the entire time and it never helped. But, um, we had, um, a couple pretty nasty naked singles in this one. Uh, we had one in this row. I think it was this one here. We had this naked eight as well. Um, I, those felt very important to find. We also had a hidden single in this column, if I recall. I don't remember exactly. 
Uh, we also had a hidden one in this column after finding this hidden 3-6. That felt really important. Finding this hidden 3-6 and following up with that by placing this one felt really important. So some, some interesting stuff today with both hiddens and naked uh, techniques. Um, and no random like triple or pair that went across the whole grid to, to, that resolves everything. So those are always annoying to find. <laughs> Didn't have to find those today. Uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.